a lot of you are wearing wigs that look nothing like your hair. Well, who the f asked you? You should be agreeing, and if not, you need help. It's come out of black women's business. Simple, a simple Google search will show you this. A simple clip. So can't white women get an Afro wig and look beautiful in it too? No, I feel like that's cultural appropriation and white women should not do that. How is that cultural appropriation, but a black woman can put on a blonde wig? How is that? <laughs> okay, so quick disclaimer. This topic is a sensitive topic. So, if you're easily offended, please switch on to another video or just go and, you know, find a hole and put your head in there somewhere, yeah? Because out here on the streets, it seems like we have world war and it's not looking good at all. So in the blue corner, we have this Arab Asian looking chick who apparently is married to a black man. who is basically giving her opinion, giving her take on what all this wig wearing is doing to the mindset of black women. Play the clip. You guys are not even wearing wigs that resemble 4C kinky hair. A lot of you are wearing wigs that look nothing like your hair. This is a problem. You guys are creating delusions in your head. You're wearing wig every day. If you're black and you're wearing a blonde, bright blonde platinum straight bust down wig every day, you take it off. Are you telling me you're not going to look in the mirror and think, mm, I'm going to, this is my image now. This is my image. This is a problem. This is a problem. What the fuck are you doing? There's a lot of black women here that are trying to intimidate me. I don't know who you think you are. I'm actually speaking up for your community and you should be agreeing. And if not, you need help. Because what I'm saying is factual. Anyone can fucking agree. Whoever's a human or has been to year two school, year three school, knows that if you change your look every single day and you look in the mirror, you will now adapt and you'll think that this is your image. This is your true form. So now when you remove all of that, you're going to be insecure. Simple. A simple Google search will show you this. A simple clip. Sorry, you're the only community that wants to gatekeep. Like, it's, it's getting ridiculous. You want to gatekeep the word black. You want to gatekeep uh, talking on black issues because we're not black. Are you okay? Do you think you intimidate me? You think I haven't been called a racist before on this platform? Do you think I care? You guys don't feel a tough way to go mention white people's issues and then turn in. Are you okay? Why do I need to be black to tell you that your esteem is being, um... Your low self-esteem, you have low self-esteem from doing that. Do I need to be black? So can't white women get an Afro wig and look beautiful in it too? No, I feel like that's cultural appropriation and white women should not do that. How is that cultural appropriation but a black woman can put on a blonde wig? How is that? I feel like you're mixing up the lines here. There's a fine line on what's right and what's wrong. And that was wrong. Okay, yeah. so so them putting on a, a afro, why is that wrong? <laughs> because I feel like an afro has so much culture um, in African history, and white women should not um, appropriate that. But do you not understand that black people we use everybody else's culture, like stuff we eat, come from the Italians and white people. So can black people not eat pasta and pizza now because it comes from another culture? Now my question to you is, did she make any valid points or was she just completely disrespectful? Wait, before you answer, let me share this video with you. Someone told me, why am I complaining about black women's hair? Take a look at this video, yeah? All these ladies are waiting in line to buy wigs. They're all waiting. And this is not cheap. From 1,500 Ghana cities to 10,000, even 15,000 Ghana CD week. They will call their brothers and sisters from abroad like, oh, I don't have money, send me money. But this is happening in Ghana. They are waiting in line to spend their hard-earned money to buy a wig. There is something wrong with us. Can't you see? Can't you see there is something wrong with us? Spending all your money. And who is profiting over this? Chinese, they are using plastic from petroleum to make a fake hair. So that we will spend our hard-earned money, yeah, to buy this. Your ancestors, your mothers, your grandparents, they know that they are beautiful. They don't need this to be beautiful. 
they are beautiful, except that some people they don't have hair. Or they are facing hair problem. You don't need this. They don't you don't need it. Yeah? Otherwise, someone will make a business out of you, out of your own insecurities. People complain about beauty standard. We set the beauty standard. Nobody set the beauty standard for us. We set the beauty standard. Nobody set it for us. For you to look beautiful, to feel beautiful, it's all in your head. It's in your head and the way you look at yourself. So if you think that you have to spend all your hard and money, 5,000 Ghana City to go and buy a wig. Meanwhile, you can grow your own hair. It's all on you. Now that was just Ghana. That was just one country. I haven't got the time to show you how this is worldwide, but you can see how deep it is. Now let's get back to the ring. In the red corner, we have Elaine Le Payne, 080 from TikTok, who is in the UK and wants to respond. Notice how she's covering her hair. Anyway, play the clip. So, did anybody see that girl's rant on Shade Borough about black women and their hair? And she's telling us this and she's telling us that. And I'm looking and I'm like, well, who the fuck asked you? Who asked you for your opinion? Because I don't see you having 4A, 4B or 4 Bumba Clark C type of hair to be coming and telling us anything. Because if you're talking about low blood clot self-esteem, let's include everyone. Let's include the women that wear makeup. Let's include the women that fucking have tracks in their hair. Let's include women that get their bodies augmented to have fake tits and fake ass. Let's include that. Let's include the bitches that inject their lips and inject their cheeks with fillers. Let's include... We can all do this. You understand? What you need to do is come out of black women's business. That's what you need to be doing. Because you guys keep beating us over the head with the, oh, you wear weaves and you wear wigs and this, this, that, and la, 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 la. At the end of the day, it's my business what I wear. It's my business what I put on my head. The same as if it's my business if I go natural. The same as if it's my business if I wear a fucking wig. Who gives a fuck? You people seem to think that we want to emulate white women. We actually don't. Wigs and hair have now become an art form. How many blood clot times do I need to tell you? And we shouldn't even be explaining ourselves to motherfuckers like you. Because we really don't give a fuck. If I want to wear blonde, black or blue, what the fuck's it got to do with you? Because when we had to cover our hair to get fucking jobs because it offended white people, where the fuck were you? When we had to get a law made because we were discriminated against because of our hair, where the fuck were you? Let me tell you something. I don't need to be told that I'm beautiful. I know I'm beautiful, you understand? No matter what the fuck I wear. And just because you're with a black man, it doesn't give you the right to start telling black women what they should and shouldn't do. You people get too comfortable, you understand? So unless you want us to go ban for band, I suggest you come in, sit down, shut the fuck up and learn something from black women. Do that. Jesus Christ. So again, my question to you, did Elaine make any valid points or was she completely disrespectful? Now, before I give my opinion respectfully, I just want to say that everybody has the right to their opinion on any subject, any topic. This is what's called communication. And through communication, we get understanding. This is how people understand each other. This is how different cultures understand each other. This is how people do business, okay? So everyone's got their right to their opinion. Okay, with that said, the Arab Asian looking girl, I do apologize, I don't know her name. But truthfully, I didn't hear her make any wrong points. I didn't hear her say anything that was incorrect. A lot of the stuff she said was actually factual. The more these women wear these wigs, it creates a state of low self-esteem because now you feel like you can't do without the wig. You feel like you can't make a video replying to people talking about hair with you showing your hair. But that's just my 
observation there, yeah? The low self-esteem with our black women, let's not forget it's by design, okay? Now, Elaine, with her response, made some good points, and she's also entitled to her opinion. There's just a few things that Elaine said that I want to highlight here. Now, Elaine, if you're watching this, I'm not your enemy. This, this video isn't, I've not done this video to attack you. You have nice teeth, by the way. But I just want to pick out a few things that you said in your response that I just want to highlight, yeah? What you said about people wearing makeup and people doing lip fillers and all these other sorts of things, you are correct with that, you know? People wear makeup creates low self-esteem because, you know, you feel like you can only look nice wearing the makeup. We're not talking about makeup. Let's not divert the conversation. We're talking about hair. So on one side, you are correct, but let's stay focused on the topic, yeah? You said who cares if black women wanna wear blue, blonde, you know, who cares if we wanna wear wigs, etc., etc. And the answer to that question is everybody cares. The fact that you actually wear these wigs, the fact that there are thousands of girls queuing up for wigs means that you care. The fact that Asian people own most of the hair shops shows that they care. Obviously about making money, but you know, when you say things like who cares, a lot of people care. Black men, we care. We've been saying for years that, you know, just go natural. Everyone tries to copy you, but you don't, you don't see that. So people do care. Also, what you said, Elaine, was that where were you when we had to change our hair to get jobs? Where were you, basically? And there's two answers to that question. The first one is, where were the Asians when you had to change your hair to get a job from the white person? The Asian people were in the shop selling you the hair. That's where they were. And number two is the Asians are set up differently to black people. The family structure, the way their women, the majority of them get married. So they have providers, which means they don't have problems in employment. They either open business or they just stay at home and their husband provides. So there's two answers to that question when you say, where were you when we had to change our hair to get jobs? Black women wouldn't need to change their hair to get those sort of jobs if they had those providers in the home. And black women wouldn't need to, black women wouldn't need to do that also if they were starting their own businesses. But these are just answers to your questions. I'm not throwing any shots at anybody, okay? Lastly, you said that wearing a wig is now an art form. Wearing a wig is now an art. That's not true. It's not an art form because wearing fake anything is not an art form, okay? I think you just made that one up. I think you were being serious with that one. But as I said already, everyone is free to make their opinion on any subject. And I can only imagine the Arab Asian looking girl got all that from her husband, boyfriend. I don't know if they're married or not. But anytime somebody says something, before you get emotional, first actually look at what they're saying and then respond. Let's not make war. Let's make peace. To all those that have subscribed, I'll see you on the other side. Till next time, yeah? Mm-hmm. <laughs>
attention in another brother's baby mother. You judging me, but you don't.